Bonjour, this is Fabulously Delicious, the French food podcast. It's the podcast that's all about the cuisine that is said to have founded modern cooking. French ingredients and dishes have been the starting block for many of the world's best chefs and cooks. And on Fabulously Delicious, you'll learn all about those dishes and ingredients, as well as get to know more about fabulous French foodies. I'm your host, Andrew Pryor. Enchanté. Enchanté. My life changed when I competed on MasterChef Australia, and now I'm living my best life right here in the French countryside. Well, actually, not here, because this is a friend's house, but in my country home right in Montmorillon in the Vienne department of France. Cooking, eating, meeting wonderful local food producers, drinking amazing wines, eating some of the over, yes, that's right, 1,500 French cheeses, can't believe there's more than 1,500 cheeses in the world, let alone in France, and enjoying these fabulous experiences with you, my fabulously delicious audience. I hope you're enjoying them. Today, I decided to revisit an episode I did about rose garlic for my series, The A to Z of French Herbs. So sit back, turn the volume up. If you're not driving, pour yourself a glass of wine, break a baguette, add a bit of sausage on maybe, and enjoy today's episode of Fabulously delicious. The revisit of rose garlic. Nothing to do with garlic, but something to do with pink, the colour of today's subject, led me to thinking about one of my favourite musical songs. Think Pink. The lyrics go like this. Think pink. Think pink when you shop for summer clothes. Think pink. Think pink. If you want that Kelka chose. See, there's a little bit of French there. Red is dead, blue is through, green's obscure, brown's taboo. And then there is not the slightest excuse for plum or pince or chartreuse. Think pink. I love it. If it wasn't for the political incorrectness of the time and the remaining lyrics of this song, I'd recommend it to the producers of Rose Garlic as their new theme song. Rose garlic has a lighter flavour than regular white garlic and a different fragrance to other garlics as well. The Ale de Rose de Lautrec is from the Midi Pyrenees. Legend has it that the pink garlic of Lautrec appeared in the Middle Ages. A travelling salesman apparently from far away stopped at a place called Hostelier Lautrec to eat. Having little money, he embellished his meal with pretty pink clothes he had brought with him and left some behind. The hotel staff planted them and the pink garlic of the trek was born. Rose garlic is known for its pink coloured hue. The hue is the outside skin of the garlic. It has an extended dormancy in its growing period in spring, which means that its harvesting period is usually around June to July. The garlic is bound into clusters called menui. The floral stem is pruned early in the growing season in a process known as despoulinage, a local word meaning castration. This is done to concentrate growth and flavour in the underground bulbs. It's longer than normal drying time means that the garlic has a highly developed flavour. The rose garlic is also known for its long-term storage capabilities. Each area within Lettrec growing the rose garlic usually claims to be the best. There is around 87 municipalities in the region that the garlic is grown. The region has clay limestone soils that add to the terroir of the garlic. The Ale Rose de Lautrec garlic holds the label rouge, the red label, for its consistently high quality. It was awarded this red label in 1966. This was a prestigious occasion for the town and the growers of the garlic. The village of Lautrec is in the department of Tarn in the Occitan region. Its most famous inhabitant was the amazing artist Henri Toulouse Lautrec, who I think would have loved the Think Pink musical that I mentioned earlier. Actually, Lautrec actually wasn't from Lautrec. He was from the nearby town of Albi. Lautrec the town is listed among the most beautiful villages of France. 
and also because of the garlic, it's recognised as a remarkable site for taste. The village Lautrec has a beautiful 14th century market square and a 17th century windmill that still works, as well as beautiful churches and a Roman road. I love a good Roman road. In the year 940, Lautrec got its first Viscount, a man called Sicard. This was a very important occasion. In 1291, one of his descendants, Bernard de Lautrec, signed a charter which mentions a tax on garlic in the neighbouring town of Groulette. This ancient parchment shows that garlic hasn't been important to the area for over a thousand years. There is the brotherhood and sisterhood of the pink garlic of Lautrec. There are over 200 members of the organisation. The Comfrey de Ale Rose de Lautrec organises a market of garlic every Friday when it's in season as well as an annual garlic festival at the beginning of August, called the Fête de Ale Rose à la Trec. This festival has been going every year since 1971. It's held over two days, and during the festival there's artistic displays of dried garlic, as well as a taste of delicious rose garlic soup, specialty of the region. Coming to France? Are you planning a trip to France, or Paris even? Or are you one of the lucky ones that live in Paris? Well, I've been lucky enough to live in Paris as well. And I can say this, I pretty much ate my way through Paris for you. So with all that experience of eating, drinking and exploring the city of lights, love and good food, I thought, well, I need to bring that experience to you, my fabulously delicious audience. And what better way to do that than with a book? So I created my first book. A food guide to Paris called Paris Fabulous Food Guide to the World's Most Delicious City. In it, you'll find more than 379 recommendations of boulangeries, cafes, chocolate shops, fromageries, markets, marchés as we call them here in France. Yep, patisseries, restaurants and wine bars. But there's also food streets, gourmet and kitchen supply stores and so much more. Paris, a fabulous food guide to the world's most delicious city is available on my website. It's a 2024 edition, which means that it's pretty much up to date with fabulous recommendations for you. And every year, plan on updating it so that each year is a new edition for you. You can get a copy, as I said, on my website where you can even get a signed and gift package version, or you can go to Amazon, it's available there, and it's even available as a Kindle version. Paris, a fabulous food guide to the world's most delicious city. I hope you enjoy it. That's it for another episode of Fabulously Delicious, the French food podcast. I hope you enjoyed this look back at rose garlic. And if you want to explore more of my A to Z of French herbs, there's plenty of other episodes out there. And hopefully we'll have some news about a cookbook coming out soon. What's the most fabulous thing that you learned from this episode? Let me know by contacting me via my Instagram account. You can slide into my DMs at Andrew Pryor Fabulously, or you can even email me on contact at andrewpryorfabulously.com. I love to chat with you all, even if it's just about French food. Thank you for listening. And remember, you know what my motto is. Whatever you do, do it fabulously. Merci beaucoup and bon appétit.